On 21 September 18, Idan Boyle received Watts's jail log reports from Nicole Morrill, involving dates 16 August 18 to 20 September 18. These reports are initiated by jail deputies on a daily basis, and they document their observations and interactions with inmate Watts. The reports consistently reflect Watts as very polite and compliant. Watts reads his Bible and did receive additional reading material, namely, the body of evidence. J. Log Observation of Behavior. The 16th of August 2018. 3.04 a.m. I have observed that he came into the unit and went straight to bed. The 16th of August 2018. 11.55 a.m. Inmate Watts received two visits from lawyers today as well as inmate services. He was staffed to remain. He has been polite and respectful with the interactions I have had with him. He has been laying down staring at the top of his bunk, or sitting on the edge of it staring at the floor. The 17th of August 2018. For 14 a.m. narrative. Inmate Watts slept all through the shift, he did respond to the face count but did not get up at all. The 17th of August 2018. 12.57 p.m. Inmate Watts has been respectful and polite during my interactions with him. I have seen him a few times during my walks, staring off at the floor or wall in front of him blankly. I have asked a few times if he was doing all right or if he needed to talk and he said no whilst giving a thumbs up. He was staffed today by inmate services to remain on. Throughout the day while doing my walks, I noticed what staring blankly in front of him again. I opened his cell door and let him know what I've seen over the last few hours and told him it was concerning. He said he was fine, he is just thinking about things and is trying to exercise to keep busy. I told him that's a good idea and reassured him that if he needs to talk to someone he needs to let the deputy know so we can make sure he is taken care of. He said he appreciated it. I asked him if he was feeling suicidal and he told me he was not. I then asked him if he would let us know if he was, to which he told us, I will definitely let someone know. The 18th of August 2018. 3.38 PM. What's keeps to himself? He is very calm and polite all day long. He will respond when staff asks him questions in a respectful manner. The 18th of August 2018. 10.09 p.m. Inmate Watts, Christopher laid on his bunk and slept during the shift. He wakes up and acknowledges deputies and medical staff when they address him. He has not been actively attempting to harm himself during the shift. The 19th of August 2018. 3.18 p.m. Inmate Watts either sat quietly or slept in his bunk all day. The only time he talked was to say thank you for lunch and to ask for toilet paper. Inmate refused medication. The 19th of August 2018. 11.22 p.m. Inmate Watts refused his R out tonight when offered by myself and SOG Deputy Penny. He rested during most of the shift only speaking when he needed toilet paper. He was respectful and did not engage in any self-harming behavior. The 21st of August 2018. 12.14 a.m. During routine walkthroughs early in the shift, I observed inmate Watts, Christopher sitting up on his bunk reading a book. The last two days he has been laying down staring in front of him or sleeping. I approached him and shared my observation, and he informed me that he was just given the book today. Having a book to read seems to have significantly improved inmate Watts's demeanor. The 22nd of August 2018. 12.16 a.m. Inmate Watts, Christopher had a professional visitor tonight. I asked him after he was finished how his court from earlier today had gone. He said it had not gone well, but appeared to be content with it. He asked me how my day was and I responded by telling him I'm here and alive, so I can't complain. He proceeded to ask how many days I work in a typical week here at the jail. I told him the work week is typically five days, and he said okay as he entered his cell. I told him to have a good night and he began to read his book in the cell and later went to sleep. The 22nd of August 2018. For 50 p.m. The 21st of August 2018 inmate returned from court. 
he was given an opportunity to prepare with a shower early in the morning. He read his book after the shower when he returned to his cell. He doesn't hang around or make conversation with others. He was quiet and polite when he returned from court. He reads his book standing at times. Watts, Christopher No. 360519 inmate was seen this morning by Brandon. He was asked to call his public defender twice this morning. Which he did. Number 1487 female voice. The first call lasted over 10 minutes. There was an inmate on. Laying on the floor next to the telephone. He was given his R out and took a shower. After showering he returned to his cell. He finished one book and asked if he could get another and it was accommodated. After dinner he dozed off but was seen reading shortly after. 5.15pm he is very quiet and polite. He was asked to place a phone call to his attorney at 5.25pm and was given the opportunity to make the call. It lasted less than two minutes and he returned to his cell without issue. The 23rd of August 2018. 12.46am. Inmate Watts, Christopher has been quiet throughout the shift. He asked for toilet paper once at approximately 7 p.m., which I promptly provided him with. He continues to read in his bunk and refrains from any self-harming behavior. The 24th of August 2018. 12.36 a.m. Inmate spent most of the night reading in his bunk. Inmate appeared to sleep through the night. The 23rd of August 2018. 5.37 p.m. Requested that he have his R out in this unit. He stated that he would only need to take a shower and then return to his cell. I informed him that his R outs would be upstairs. Inmate Watts tried to manipulate the situation by stating that he would just be real quick and he wouldn't talk to anyone. I repeated that his R out would be done upstairs. He accepted that and went back to his book. The 25th of August 2018. 8.28 a.m. Inmate refused out today and decided to sleep. I have had no issues with this inmate and he complied with every directive given. The 26th of August 2018. 10.29 a.m. Today at approximately 10.30 hours inmate Watts had a professional visitor. All the windows were closed, plastic bags were used to block visibility and to provide privacy to inmate Watts. The 26th of August 2018. 2.21 p.m. Inmate Watts had a visit with his public defender today with no issues from him or the other inmates in S-Pod. The 28th of August 2018. 8.10 p.m. Watts, Christopher No. 360519 was quiet when I took over this afternoon. He spent most of the day reading. He did eat dinner. The housing unit as a whole was quite rambunctious today around dinner time. But Watts did not engage with any of this and just kept to himself. He had a VPRO that started late this evening. I summoned the SOG deputies to escort him to the VPRO room in accordance with the security memo, and we shut all of the sliders on the cell doors during the VPRO room to maintain compliance with the security memo. The housing unit was very upset about having their sliders shut indefinitely because of his VPRO room and the unit made their collective feelings clear by booing Watts when he came out of his room. The 29th of August 2018. 12.02 a.m. Inmate Watts, number 360519 has been observed quietly lying in bed and reading his Bible. He was very polite and respectful in his interactions with the deputy and seems to be in generally good spirits. After lights out he went to sleep and has caused no issues. The 29th of August 2018. 7.14 p.m. Inmate Watts, Christopher No. 360519 was on a VPRO when I got into the unit. All sliders were closed for the duration of the VPRO, in accordance with his security memo. When his VPRO was done around 16.40, he was moved back by two SOG members, in accordance with his security memo. The unit was much less vocal today when he was being moved. Watts spent the remainder of the evening reading in his room quietly after he ate dinner. The 30th of August 2018. 12.24 a.m. 
Inmate Watts was observed reading in his cell, again until lights out, and then went to sleep. He had very little interaction with the deputy as he did not request anything throughout the night. The 30th of August 2018. 3.28 p.m. Inmate Watts was approved per Sergeant Mueller to have a book from inmate services. This was given to him by Deputy Petzold, Thursday August 30, 2018 at 15.30. Inmate Watts is not on discipline and therefore allowed a book. The 30th of August 2018. 8.22 p.m. Subject. Inmate found to have a book, states that it came from his counsellor. Book is taken. Inmate Watts. Christopher No. 360519 was pretty quiet throughout the day. He ate dinner, and did not speak to anyone else in the unit. It was found today by Deputy Bretadou, that he had a book in his cell, in addition to his Bible. When Bretadou asked about this, Watts explained that his counsellor had given it to him. Bretadou explained to Watts that at this time, inmates in this housing unit are not allowed to have books aside from their primary religious text. Watts handed over the book to Deputy Bretadou without issue. The 31st of August 2018. 3.33 a.m. Inmate Watts, number 360519 has been observed sitting in his cell either reading or seemingly doing nothing to where he would be looking at the door as I approached him. He would smile and nod his head at me. He asked for his toilet to be flushed, which I did, and then he went to sleep after lights out. The 31st of August 2018. 7.57 p.m. Inmate Watts, Christopher Lee, number 360519 spent his day quietly reading. He did eat dinner. The 1st of September 2018. 3.40 a.m. Inmate Watts, number 360519, has been observed reading in bed. No issues to report. The 1st of September 2018. 5.39 p.m. Today I interacted with inmate Watts briefly. Specifically, I observed inmate Watts working out, when asked how he was feeling he said okay. Also, throughout the day I observed him reading his book. He remained polite and respectful today. He read and exercised. The 2nd of September 2018. 2.33 a.m. Inmate Watts spent a majority of his evening reading a book. He has been respectful to deputies and has not caused any negative issues. As indicated earlier he elected to not take his R out this evening. The 3rd of September 2018. 12.13 a.m. Inmate Watts read a book for a majority of the evening. He has been respectful and communicates when communicated to. He has not caused any negative issues this evening. The 4th of September 2018. 4.02 a.m. Inmate Watts completed his visit with his attorney at approximately 18.30 hours. SOG moved him from the VPRO room to his cell with no issues. He was respectful this evening and did not cause any issues in the pod. The 4th of September 2018. 5.06 a.m. Inmate accepted and ate breakfast. The 4th of September 2018. 3.31 p.m. Inmate Watts asked what I did before this and if I liked working here, and how long I've been here. The 5th of September 2018. For 16 a.m. Inmate Watts sat on his cot most of the evening and read his book. He is respectful and hasn't caused any negative issues. The 5th of September 2018. 9.34 a.m. Today inmate Watts was given a different book from inmate service Brandon. I took, switched out his old book with the new book, Body of Evidence. The book was inspected prior to giving to him. The 7th of September 2018. 2.06 a.m. Inmate Watts was observed reading his Bible and sleeping, he caused no issues. He continues to have little to no interaction with deputies but seems calm and receptive when spoken to. The 8th of September 2018. 2.35 a.m. Inmate Watts was quiet and compliant this evening, reading in his room. He slept and caused no issues. The 8th of September 2018. 2.59 p.m. 
Inmate Watts, Christopher No. 360519, has mostly been reading his Bible and laying on his mat all day. No issues from this inmate. The 9th of September 2018. 5.46 a.m. Inmate Watts was observed reading in his cell. No issues to report. The 12th of September 2018. For 46 p.m. Inmate Watts had a professional visit today at approximately 16.45 hours. All of the window shoots of Unit S were closed while inmate Watts was removed from his cell and during his professional visit. The 13th of September 2018. 2.24 p.m. I Deputy Archer 0238 cleaned inmate Watts' cell while he was on his R out today, Thursday, September 13, 2018. The 13th of September 2018. 12 o'clock a.m. Inmate was quiet and respectful tonight. Inmate did not even react when several other inmates in the unit were yelling to him. The 15th of September 2018. 12.02 a.m. Inmate has remained very quiet and polite. Inmate rarely asks for anything and is respectful when he does. The 15th of September 2018. 3.08 p.m. He has been quiet. He mainly reads, or sleeps during the shift. He follows directive, and is polite, and respectful. I have had no issues. The 16th of September 2018. 8.47 a.m. Inmate took his R out today. I have had no issues from him. He has mainly been sleeping or reading his Bible. The 18th of September 2018. 12.29 p.m. On the 18th of September 2018, at approximately 12.25, inmate Roberts was talking to inmate Watts through vents. I was not able to hear what they were talking about. Inmate returned to his window shortly after this. The 20th of September 2018. 8.31 a.m. Inmate started his hour out at 8 o'clock hours and had access to the phones, shower, newspaper and exercise room. The 20th of September 2018. 5.52 p.m. Inmate Watts has been very quiet. He was polite going to and from the VPRO for his visit and cooperative during cuffing and search. He ate all his dinner and spent the time I observed him sitting on his bunk reading his Bible. The 21st of September 2018. 11.32 a.m. Inmate was offered his R out at 11.10 hours, and he had access to the shower, phone, newspaper, and exercise room. Inmate has been respectful to me in all dealings and interactions with him. The 24th of September 2018. 9.48 p.m. Inmate was very respectful and polite while working with me this week. Other inmates in the unit are starting to accept him being here and were talking with him throughout the week. He was polite and respectful while talking with them and never cursed while other inmates were. The 26th of September 2018. 3.05 p.m. Inmate was quiet and respectful all day, no issues. The 30th of September 2018. 10.59 a.m. Inmate Watts has been respectful in all interactions today. He took his time out this morning and also swapped out books. The 10th of October 2018. 2.58 a.m. Inmate Watts was respectful in all interactions this evening. He followed all directives without issue as well. There was little interaction with him, except for when he asked to have his toilet flushed or to know the time at one point. Overall there were no issues. He was usually quiet in his cell either reading or just laying down. The 14th of October 2018. 11.10 p.m. Inmate was well behaved today. He was polite and presented me with no problems. He watched the TV the majority of his GP time. I gave expectations when I did shift change and he followed all of the rules set before him. He was not very talkative. He was seen pacing back and forth on several occasions. The 14th of October 2018. 11.20 p.m. Inmate Watts was given expectations during shift change. He presented me with no problems during this time. 
He was slightly more talkative today. He was seen watching both football games that were on the TV today, also, he was seen eating some of his commissary food. He was spotted working out in his room on multiple occasions. Finally, inmate Watts ate his dinner and locked down quickly when all lockdowns were announced during my shift. The 15th of October 2018. 9.27pm. Inmate Watts was given expectations during shift change. He has continued to follow my expectations without any issues. He was seen eating commissary and doing push-ups on multiple occasions. He was also given a tray for dinner and ate from it. Inmate Watts was fairly social with me while doing shift change. No issues while I was the housing unit deputy.